And welcome to the 12 o'clock report for April 18th, End Times Prophecy News. Jim Beckwith reporting here. <laughs> Trump has plans, but his lips are sealed. President Trump says he isn't going to telegraph his plans for North Korea. Does the president have a red line when it comes to North Korea that if they cross it, they will bring about some kind of military response in the U.S.? Um, I think what we talked about, you know, the, the use of red lines in the past with respect to Syria, the president's made line, you know, that drawing red lines hasn't really worked in the past. He holds his cards close to the vest, and I think he, you're not going to see him telegraphing um, how he's going to respond to any military or other situation uh, going forward. That's just something that he believes uh, has not served us well in the past. We did this with Mosul. We start to talk about what the action will be months in advance, and it really gives uh, the, the, the intended recipient of action a heads up as to what's going on. So I don't think that you're going to see the president drawing red lines in the sand, but I think that the action that he took in Syria shows that when appropriate, this president will take decisive action. So let me just follow up on that. Syria is one, uh, one thing. North Korea is quite another when they have nuclear ambitions the way that they do. Right. When you talk about, well, we did this to North, uh, we did this to Syria and we did this to Afghanistan, is that... Is that no, I, I think that, in, in the case... Too loose with, you know, a bombastic rhetoric. No, no, no. I, I think, and again, I, I please don't read too much into that in terms of the, the, trying to make an analogy on the action. I think it's quite the opposite. Uh, but I think with respect to North Korea in particular, the president had a really good meeting with President Xi down in Mar-a-Lago where I think he spoke in extensively about the relationship that they uh, they made down there um, and that they continue to work to improve. And the results of that are paying off. I think you see China uh, playing a much more active role in the, in the in, with respect to North Korea. Uh, so there you go. That is the man's answers. There is no red light in the sand. When you cross too far into the sand, then Trump will respond. And you ain't gonna like it. You might end up dead. Boeing just released terrible news. Boeing Commercial Airlines has announced, uh, or airplanes, has announced massive layoffs. Reuters reports. Boeing company BAN warned employees on Monday it planned another round of involuntary layoffs that would affect hundreds of engineers at its commercial airplanes unit, according to a source and memo seen by Reuters. The latest job cuts follow a prior involuntary reduction of 245 workers set for May 19th as the company responded to increasing competition and slowing aircraft sales. The additional layoffs are due to start June 23rd, according to the memo from John Hamilton, Vice President of Engineering at Boeing Commercial Airplanes. Quote, we are moving forward with a second phase of involuntary layoffs for some select skills in Washington State and other enterprise locations, the memo said. <clears throat> We anticipate this will impact hundreds of engineering employees. Additional reductions in engineering later this year will be driven by our business environment and the amount of voluntary attrition. Boeing's airplane unit eliminated several hundred engineers through voluntary redundancies announced in January and in March. And look what Trump supporters did after Antifa trashed Berkeley. Uh, they picked up their garbage because they're true patriots. Antifa trashes their own city of Berkeley while Trump supporters clean up their mess. Antifa, 19 to 28 years old, 92% of them don't have girlfriends. 90% uh, of them uh, live at home with their mommy and don't have a job. Paid by George Soros. Basically, low lives. And most of them do a lot of drugs, smoke weed all the time. All kinds of stuff. Kind of low lives. And I'm sure that most of their mommy's bedroom that they have off of mommy looks like that most of the time. Oh, they play video games. Just like Kim Jong-un. <clears throat> Press Secretary Sean Spicer responds to new requests for President Trump's 
tax returns. A familiar answer to a familiar request, Sean Spicer explains why the president has not released his tax returns. Well, number one, it's not law. <laughs> there's, there's no reason to. That's the biggest reason of all. You don't have to. There's no requirement. Yeah, they are. Um, I think it's been covered before. It's the same thing that uh, that was discussed during the campaign trail. The president uh, is under audit. It's now. This is the thing: is that Sean Spicer is now grown accustomed to answering basically the same rhetoric day in and day out in a nice, respectful way. Yeah, he does a very good job of it. Before it's the same thing that uh, that was discussed during the campaign trail. The president uh, is under audit. It's a routine one that continues um, and I think that the American public know clearly where he stands this was something that he made very clear during the election cycle excuse me and hold on and then so and, and the one time that it was done I think the people understand you know how successful the president's been and how much he's paid in taxes so but but it's the same we're, we're under the same audit that existed and uh, and so nothing has changed <clears throat> Facebook Live Killer puts nine Philadelphia schools on lockdown. And that's all we really have for that report. And then we have this one. Sean Spicer responds to McCarthy Saturday Night Live skit. Look what he says. Uh, just offhand, Sean Spicer's better looking than... Uh, Mo What's her name? Melissa McCarthy? I mean, sorry. <laughs> what, what do you think about when you see Melissa McCarthy doing these skits? Do you, I'm usually long and I'm fast asleep by the time that comes on. You and me both. Uh, so I, not only are we have the same age, we'd probably go to bed around the same time. So I'm in bed, get up, go to church the next day and look ahead. I mean, I get made fun of too. I mean, it happens all the time. All right, well, you know, maybe more deserved. <laughs> Wow, look who got reported to the feds. The Fresno State professor. Lars Moschak, who called for President Trump to be hanged, has, has been reported to the FBI, Secret Service, and Homeland Security by the university's president. Well, praise the Lord, from PJ Media. Virulently anti-Trump professors, by which I mean most professors, feel pretty invincible. After all, when a video recently surfaced of a professor comparing the election of a Trump to a terrorist attack, the student filming it got punished. So imagine Fresno State Professor Lars Moschak's surprise last week when his tweet demanding President Trump be hung was reported to law enforcement by President Fresno State's president. Though Moschak did not respond to campus reform's initial in inquiry on the matter, he did try to clarify his comments on Twitter, saying that while he did not intend to harm Mr. Trump nor wish for anyone else to harm Mr. Trump by way of assassination, he does think, given the nature of Trump's regime, that he will be held accountable for his crimes in a court and that historical precedent suggests that a death sentence is inevitable if democracy prevails. Now, however, campus reform has been informed that University President Joseph Castro promptly alerted multiple federal agencies to the tweets after becoming aware of them and has been in regular contact with federal authorities over the past several days. President Castro said, that the university alerted the FBI Secret Service and Homeland Security as soon as it became aware of the comments made by Dr. Moschak on Twitter. He ain't no doctor to me at all. He's just a doctor of doofus. Director of Communications uh, Kathleen Schlock told Campus Reform. He went on to say that the university been in regular contact with federal authorities. There are no other, de other details we can disclose about those communications. The tweet in question from Moschak's now apparently deleted Twitter account read, To save American democracy, Trump must hang. The sooner and the higher, the better. Well, he didn't mean anything by that. He, mean, he didn't mean to offend anyone, or for anyone to get hurt, or for anyone to even think about doing such a thing. That's why it says the sooner, the higher, the better. 
death to fascism. I spent a lot of my time reporting some crappy news about school administrators. President Castro's decision to adhere to the law is a welcome change and should be applauded. And thank you for listening. See you at one o'clock. God bless. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive them.